Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. This is more of a Turning the Page is, because I've got uh, two books in front of me here, but I figured I'd put these in one video since they're both in the same series. This is the AK Learning Series, uh, Metallics Volume 1 and Metallics Volume 2. I'm not sure why they're numbered 4 and 5. Maybe that's in the series they're 4 and 5, but in this specific series they're 1 and 2. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at number 1, obviously, first. And these are small-ish uh, books. I mean, they're... You know, here's an here's an Osprey book. It's smaller than an Osprey book, um, but um, they are uh, about 84 pages and uh, very very thick uh, uh, cardboard e covers. Uh, look like they'll be durable, anyways. Uh, in the inter introduction section index, it says uh, in the index section, it's the introduction first with color paint colors and metallic colors uh, listed, and then paint types, acrylics, enamels, and lacquers. Main metals in modeling, iron, steel, aluminum, copper, bronze, brass, titanium, chrome, silver, and gold. Uh, techniques and samples, uh, wax painting, German MP41 gunmetal, other wax examples, painting with pigments, towing cable, painting metallics, aircraft, aluminum, Mirage 2C, um, P51D enamel painting, uh, inks on metals, bare metal, graphite pencils, metal color paints, Yamaha TZ250, car gallery, painting chrome, T2HK uh, aerial, painting chrome clips, and ship propeller. So they go over a lot of different things. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, here's the introduction section, and uh, what is, uh, this is Fernando Vallejo, uh, who is the, um, probably the editor, I'm assuming, since he put his name in here. He's the AK Interactive president, but let me see uh, what the credits go to Roberto Ramirez. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay, maybe he just uh, did the intro there. Um, uh, so probably this is a conglomerate, conglo conglomeration, no, conglomeration of people uh, who did this. So that, and that right there, whew, I don't know what scale that's in, but that's amazing. Um, so let's go in, it goes into colors, complementary colors, a common uh, topic in this, um, paint colors, um, and then it goes into metallic colors in terms of, you know, basically scientific -y kind of stuff here, oxidation reduction, uh, rust process. Uh, then it goes into a description of paints um, and more description of metallic paints, different the examples they cited, iron, steel, just to give you kind of some, some samples of what, you know, what you're looking to achieve uh, with those things, uh, chrome, silver, gold. So uh, yeah, I mean, it goes into these various projects that they listed, wax painting, um, uh, other wax painting examples, um, towing cables, uh, painting metallics, and uh, you know some of these look find it finish wise it look pretty amazing uh, for the this is a new series by the way the extreme metal series and I believe I've got these out for usage review or feature article uh, creation or something but uh, or use use in a project but um, I'm not sure we've seen any of those come in yet or not I'll have to check anyways um, p51d enamel painting. Um, but uh, but yeah, this this new this new book series is definitely meant to complement these new paints uh, in the extreme metal series. Um, that's really nice on the uh, Jaguar there, Jaguar as they say in Britain. Uh, and then uh, you can see when you get the end because oh they've got uh, I actually have that or had that. Did I sell that? I can't remember. I, ha I have this kit though. Um, came out nicely on this and oh here we go the um, ship propeller I wanted to kind of see that yeah that's good not too shiny not the right level of brass and anyways lots of lots of interesting little detail prizes. so let's let's look at let's look at number two what could they do in number two that they didn't do in number one we'll, we'll find out all right so in this one uh, goes into again paint types acrylic um, and enamel, uh, the techniques, uh, pimp primer, PMP, primer, base layer, highlight, shading, definition, and final highlights, effects and atmosphere, NMM, non-metallic metal, which is what that stands for, obviously, the impact of light, contrast, placement of highlight and shadow, basic graphic example of, of, on an axe, basic graphic sample on a mask, colors and types of metal, gold and silver threads, Non-metallic non metal and technique using acrylics on Warhammer figures. Uh, true metal and NM, NMM mixed system. Paint metal without using metallic paints. Dotting or 
stippling, 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 right? Stippling. The bluing technique, and then samples C3PO Terminator T800 Cylon, Cylon Raider, abyss, abyssal uh, paint stripping, and basic painting. Does it go to us? No. <laughs> All right. So then they would introduction section here using some different uh, Silver Surfer and Iron Man examples. Hey, I knew who those were. Didn't that's pretty good, huh? Uh, so acrylic metal paints, enamel metal, metallic paints. Uh, then we go into the techniques. So basically, this is going to have different techniques in it than the first book had, uh, talking about you know all these different. Uh, they're still going to go over some kind of base layer highlighting issues, um, but uh, then when they get into the uh, actual projects, like they did the kind of condensed version of the iron, steel, aluminum, copper, gold, bronze thing here, and uh, so this is why I can see having issue one probably would be nice to be a little more complete. Um, the non-metallic metal technique. That sounds interesting. Light indice. Contrast, shadows, lights, shadows, where to place them. Um, so there's the example with the an axe and with the mask. And again, don't want to go over the entire book, but you basically can see that you know they're, they're going to cover a lot of these different techniques. Um, and it looks like uh, to great effect uh, in terms of the final um, what they look like, which is pretty cool. Um, well, that's cool. I haven't seen a model of that. I guess there is a model out there for the Cylon. And uh, Cylon Raider as well. And uh, well, that's who that guy is. And we end with the little teddy bear, the little, the little clockwork teddy bear. Very cute. Very, very cute. Isn't he cute? <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's Metallics, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Uh, I'd like to thank AK for sending these along. I apologize for the review taking, or the, not review, but the uh, the preview slash turning the page taking so long. We I would make these available to somebody who wants to potentially replicate some of this work um, with the uh, paints or uh, stuff uh, provided here. Um, if that's something you're interested in doing, you can contact me at publisher at kidmaker.net. And uh, please leave your comments, suggestions, whatever down below in the comments section, uh, whether you're on YouTube or on our websites. And remember, we do have websites, which have a lot more stuff on them than just my, but just my videos. And uh, we will see you next time on Turning the Page.